If you haven't worn one of these coverall suits before on a job, I'm just gonna show you how it works. Now people will describe these sometimes as hazmat suits, but they're not really, like they're not totally impermeable. They are resistant to water and grossness, mud, muck, sewage even, resistant, but they're not true hazmat. The fit is, you know, it's fine. It's just like a basic pair of coveralls. You can put your clothes on underneath them. You can wear them in the heat. You can wear them in the cold. You've got basic elastic gatherings at the wrist, at the bottoms of the ankles, and then up top. You know, I'm not saying it's super comfortable. You know, you've got like this elastic thing and everything and you zip up all the way. It's just kind of awkward or whatever if you're wearing a face mask or something. But with that said, these coveralls, they cover all. Like they really, really are just super protective of your clothing and yourself if you're working in a gross situation. A lot of us on the job will bust them down to the waist level and tie them off just so you can, you know, feel a little more comfortable. If you're not, you know, doing something, take a break for lunch or whatever, and then you can just untie and pop them back on. I'm not gonna say they are necessarily one-time use. On occasion, you can get a couple uses out of these guys depending on what you're doing. If you're just spraying paint in a tent and, you know, not getting yourself completely gunked up, you can definitely reuse these guys, but they're not meant to be reused and usually, you'll end up snagging it and ripping it and end up with a few cuts like in the sleeves and things. Not because it's a bad suit, but just because that's just the way it is when you're working. Last thing I'll say is that there are people who use these as winter camo in the snow. Put these things on over their gear and wear them for winter camo in the snow. They work really well for that. At the same time, they're not perfectly waterproof. It's not like Gore-Tex or something like that. So, you know, it's not the best. All right, now you know, that's the deal with these coveralls.